In this tutorial, I will explain what the decibel is and what the purposes are of the units dBm, dBi, and dBd. A decibel is a unit of measurement used to express the ratio of powers, sound pressures, or other things on a logarithmic scale. The decibel was invented by Bell Labs and named after Alexander Graham Bell. In this tutorial, the decibel is used to express the ratio of electrical powers, meaning watts. Here is an equation to calculate the decibel value, where Pi is the input power and Po is the output power. For example, if this is an amplifier, this is the input power and this is the output power. Because the output power is greater than the input power, it is a gain. To calculate the decibel value, the equation is now 10 times log base 10 of 3, this is the output power and this is the input power, equals 4.7 dB. Here's another example. The input power is 10 milliwatt, the output power is 8 milliwatt. So in this example, there is a loss because the output power is less than the input power. The equation is now 10 times log base 10 of 0.8 equals minus 0.96 dB. Please note, if it is a positive value, it is a gain. If it is a negative value, it is a loss. To convert the decibel value to a power ratio, you can use this equation. The logarithmic scale is used to avoid very big or very small numbers, meaning the ratios. Using decibels is easier to work with. For example, a power ratio of 1 million can be expressed by 60 dB. A power ratio of 1 millionth can be expressed by minus 60 dB. A power ratio of 1 quadrillion can be expressed by 150 dB. A power ratio of 1 quadrillionth can be expressed by minus 115 dB. A power ratio of 1 septillion can be expressed by 240 dB. A power ratio of 1 septillionth can be expressed by minus 240 dB. As you can see, instead of writing this large number, you can write this small number. So it is easier to work with small number instead of these big numbers. Please note, this is a ratio. For example, let's say my salary is twice of a teacher's salary. Do you know what my salary is? No, you don't. You only know that my salary is twice of a teacher's salary, but you don't know my actual salary. And that is the ratio. This is not an absolute value. It is a ratio. In this example, it means one million, but you don't know what the absolute power is. So remember, the unit dB is a ratio. It does not represent an absolute value. If you look at this device, the only thing you know about this device is that it has a gain of 3 dB. You don't know its input power and you don't know its output power. Question, if the input power is 1 milliwatt, do you know what the output power is if you use this example? Yes, you know what the output power is. You can use this equation. The input power is 1, so the output power is 1.995 milliwatts. dB is a ratio, it does not represent an absolute value. If we use a reference input power of 1 milliwatt, the unit is expressed as dBm. Here are two equations. This equation is used to calculate the decibel value, and as you can see, the input power is 1 milliwatt. If the input power is 1 milliwatt, the unit is now dBm. And this is the equation to convert the decibel value into a power ratio. And if the input power is 1 milliwatt, the equation can be rewritten like this. The unit dBm represents an absolute value because it uses a fixed reference value of 1 milliwatt. The unit dB is a ratio. The unit dBm is an absolute value. Here are three examples. This transmitter has a gain of 80 dBm. The power output is calculated with this equation. As you can see, the value 80 is entered here. And the output power is 100 kilowatts. This transmitter has a gain of 27 dBm. The equation now looks like this. 27 is entered here. The output power is 500 milliwatts. And as you can see over here, 
the receiver has a loss of minus 73 dBm. The equation looks like this, minus 73 is entered here. So the power output is 5 times 10 to the power of minus 8 milliwatts. There is an easy way to convert dBm values to its absolute power value. Remember the rule of 10s and 3s. If you see 10 dB, it means multiply by 10. If you see minus 10 dB, you need to divide by 10. If you see 3 dB, you need to multiply by 2. And if you see minus 3 dB, you have to divide by 2. But where does these values come from? Here are a few positive decibel values. And here are a few negative decibel values. If we use this equation, we can calculate its power ratios. 3 dB represents a power ratio of approximately 2. 10 dB represents a power ratio of 10. A power ratio of minus 3 dB represents a power ratio of a half. And minus 10 dB represents a power ratio of 1 tenth. So a power ratio of 2 means times 2. A power ratio of 10 means times 10. A power ratio of a half means divided by 2. Power ratio of 0.1 means divided by 10. This value, this value, this value, and this value is where the rule of 10s and 3s come from. 3 dB is not exact a power ratio of 2. It is 1.995, but we round it to 2. The same applies to minus 3 dB. Minus 3 dB is not exactly 0.5. It is 0.501. We round it to 0.5. So the power ratios belonging to 3 dB and minus 3 dB are both rounded values. You can calculate any number by only using the values 10 and 3. For example, 1 can be calculated by 10 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3. That is 1. The value 2 can be calculated as follows. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 minus 10, that is 2. Well, 3 is 3. 4 can be calculated as follows. 10 minus 3 minus 3, that is 4. 5 can be calculated as follows. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 minus 10 is 5. So you get the idea. Try the rest yourself. Here are more examples. And here are a few difficult ones. The rules are only use a multiple of 10s and 3s. You can use positive and negative values to represent a value. If possible, avoid using 3s and never use more than 5 3s. Do you know why? It's because of the rounding I have explained earlier. So this is incorrect. The value h should not be represented by 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, plus 3 minus 10 because it uses more than 5 threes. It uses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct way is this. 10 plus 10 is 20 minus 12 is 8. As you can see, we only use 4 threes. If a transmitter has 6 dBm, how much power does it generate? The answer is, we know that the input power is always 1 milliwatts. Remember the M in dBm, which means we are using an input power of 1 milliwatt. So 6 dB can be written as 3 dB plus 3 dB. We start with 1 milliwatt, and 3 dB means multiply by 2. Remember the rule of 10s and 3. Multiply by 2 and multiply by 2. So 1 milliwatt times 2 is 2 milliwatt times 2 is 4 milliwatt. So 6 dBm is approximately 4 milliwatt. Another example. If a transmitter has 17 dBm, how much power does it generate? The answer is we start with 17 dB, which can be written as 10 dB plus 10 dB minus 3 dB, which is equal to 17 dB. We start with 1 milliwatt. 10 dB means multiply by 10, as you can see over here, multiply by 10, and this means divide by 2. We start with 1 milliwatt, multiply by 10 is 10 milliwatt, multiply by 10 is 100 milliwatt, divided by 2 
is 50 milliwatts. So 17 dBm is approximately 50 milliwatts. Here is another example. The receiver has a sensitivity of minus 138 dBm. How much power is this? We start with minus 138 dB. Minus 138 can be written as this. If you calculate these values, it is minus 100. If you calculate these three values, it is minus 30. If you calculate these values, it is minus 8. So total is minus 138. Again, we start with 1 milliwatt. So minus 10 means divided by 10, and plus 3 means multiply by 2. So we start with 1 milliwatt, as you can see over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 to the power of minus 10. 1, 2, 3. Times 10 to the power of minus 3. 1, 2. Times 10 to the power of minus 2. 2, 4, 8, 16 times 16. Minus 10, minus 3, minus 2. That is minus 15. So minus 138 dBm is approximately 16 times 10 to the power of minus 15 milliwatts. If we want to convert this value into watts, that is this value, which is approximately 16 times 10 to the power of minus 18 watts. Here are prefixes used with SI units. SI is French for System International, which means International System of Units. These units can be used, for example, for powers, for distances, for time, etc. For example, minus 138 dBm is approximately 16 times 10 to the power of minus 18 watts, which is the same as 16 attawatts. Here's another example. Please try to convert this dBm value to its corresponding power. Other notable decibel notations are dBi and dBd. This also represents ratios. Antenna manufacturers are using these units to measure antenna performance and is useful for comparison purpose. For example, manufacturer A has an 868 MHz antenna, its gain is 3 dBi. Manufacturer B has an 868 MHz antenna, its gain is 2.5 dBi. Looking at this example, manufacturer A has an antenna which has a better gain compared to manufacturer B. dBi refers to the antenna gain with respect to an isotropic antenna. This is an hypothetic point source antenna that radiates its power uniformly in all directions. This point represents an isotropic antenna. This isotropic antenna does not exist in reality. And this is the radiation pattern of this point source. Radiation or antenna pattern reflects the strength of the radio waves from the antenna in different directions. DBD refers to the antenna gain with respect to a reference dipole antenna. This is what the dipole antenna looks like. These are two metal rods, and each metal rod is a quarter wavelength in size. This is a radiation pattern of a dipole antenna. It looks like a donut. The relationship between DBD and DBI can be expressed with this equation, as you can see over here. The isotropic antenna sends the signal out in every direction. A dipole antenna focuses the signal more on a horizontal plane perpendicular to the dipole antenna. This is the radiation pattern of an isotropic antenna. This point represents an isotropic antenna. This represents the dipole antenna. And this is the radiation pattern of a dipole antenna. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.